This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video quick tip. Today in this quick tip video, I wanna share with you guys a really, really useful and very, very handy tool that I find myself using in pretty much all my typography projects, my type animations, my motion design stuff. Um, and that's a preset called Type Array by Paul Slemmer. The links will be in the video description down below or in the article down below. But this is pretty much a mandatory essential preset that you need to download if you work with any sort of type, type layer or text layers within After Effects, download it now. It's basically a name your own price script, so you can try it out for free. And if you like it and you find it very, very useful, I would highly recommend you donating um, to Paul for this preset, because this has saved me a lot of time and it's very, very, very handy. So check it out. This is not a sponsored post. This is not anything that requires any money. Um, so check out Type Array. Um, but basically, when you're creating a lot of type animations, a lot of times you're not really designing custom logo reveals and um, you know fancy, complicated animated typefaces. A lot of times in After Effects, I feel like you're always you know doing a lot of simple text stuff as well. So, for example, you know labeling footage, labeling you know pictures, graphics, labeling shape layers. You know you're just like labeling a lot of things, captioning a lot of things. You know simple explainer text, transition text. You know things that kind of slide in, slide out, fade in, fade out. Um, rotate in, rotate out, you know, just simple, simple stuff. Although these things are very, very simple, um, they're not very simple to set up in After Effects, especially with the type animators or text animators in After Effects. And so traditionally, you know, you would write this out and you're like, oh shoot, I should have separated these into four, uh, into lines. Or if I wanted to get more serious, I would separate them into individual text layers. So I would duplicate them and retype them. And, you know, you would use a script like my new Dojo Shifter version two script, which you can get over at creativedojo.net, easy plug. Basically you would just shift things in time and, you know, offset them and stagger them, or, you know, do some crazy funky stuff, shift keyframes, whatever, offset stuff, trim to start, you know, something like this. And, you know, you would, get some sort of offset animation and it's not very robust. So if you had to go change a text layer, you'd have to change all the text layers and you know, it's just kind of a mess here. So if I undo that, we just have one text layer and I just need to get a simple animation that isn't, you know, too crazy for the draft, the mock-up, you know, client approval, whatever. So quick thing, once you install type, type array, just drag it in, drop into the text and right off the bat, you're gonna see that boom. We have a very nice, easy, simple, um, basic animation that will look better than static text. So it will look better than a fade in, fade out. Um, and took like one second to, you know, to apply here. And if you hit UU on the keyboard, you can see that it applied keyframes at my time indicator here. So I'm gonna just shift this back. And it's pretty much just an influence property. Um, the text layer has a pseudo effect applied to it with the influence keyframes that control everything. And so this is great, you know, this is perfect for just subtle explainer type stuff, caption stuff, or, you know, just a mock, a mock animation um, just for drafts or whatever. Um, but let's say you had a lot of text layers or, you know, you had so many things going on. You didn't want to trim layers. You didn't want to move keyframes because that takes forever. It's easy. You can actually um, select a text layer. And let's say I wanted the animation to be off but it's going to be on at three seconds. And I, I know that. So I'm going to go ahead and select the layer and hit the asterisk key on the number pad and apply a marker right here. And the whole thing is going to be off and it's going to be triggered at this one marker. And boom, you can see that at three seconds, things start popping. So you can pretty much control um, everything using markers, which are more visual to see and easier to manipulate than, you know, having a whole bunch of keyframe layers. We have to animate the start point, the end point, and it's like two, it's like one marker instead of two keyframes for the in animation here. And so you can just shift things around. Now it's even smarter. If you have one marker, it's gonna trigger everything at this one marker. So that's great. You know, trigger everything at this marker, boom. Now it's smarter than this. If you apply multiple markers, then it's going to segment your, your text for you. So um, I have four words right here. So I'm gonna set one marker here arbitrarily, one right here and one right here. And as you can see, instead of triggering everything at this first marker, it's gonna go one at a time. So if I hit play, it's gonna trigger this first and then this, this, this. So boom, 
and then delay and then boom, boom, boom. And pretty much you're triggering, you know, all this without any keyframes, just four simple markers, which you can drag around really easily um, instead of keyframes. And it's dynamic enough and you don't have to play with any, you know, controls or anything. It just kind of works. It's very, very easy. And you can control the timing a lot easier this way. And this is great. And so let's take a look at some of the options here. There's not a lot of options, which is great because, you know, it kind of gets out of the way. And that's the whole idea of type array. Um, so delay is pretty much um, the delay in frames um, between all this. Between, um, I guess, so if you, if you didn't have markers, let's go and delete our markers. Delete all of our markers. So right now it's pulling things by, by words, right? So if we set the delay to like 10, the delay between the first word and the second word is gonna be a little bit longer. If I set it to something really short, you know, it's gonna be instantaneous. So there is no delay. At zero delay, there's gonna be no delay between all the words. So it's gonna happen at once. So again, you know, like 24, it's gonna be a slight delay between each word. And that's pretty cool. I'll set it back to, I don't know what it was, like two. Um, and then the shift frame pretty much just shifts everything in time. So basically if you're using like one marker, for example, so if I shift everything, you know, uh, two seconds long, or sorry, one second long, it's gonna be off until one second and then it's gonna be triggered at one second. So this is equivalent to just using like one marker and triggering everything at this time. Uh, so that's pretty useful. You have the use markers, which would use the markers um, on the layer itself. You can disable that if you wanted to. And of course you have the ability to reverse everything. So, you know, instead of revealing, um, instead of revealing from the first text to the last text, it's gonna reveal from the last text to the first text. And this is, you know, this is very handy just to kind of mix it up makes it very easy to mix things up. Of course, you can change the speed by just changing all the influence right here. You can just drag it out if you wanted to. Um, you can kind of create sort of like a bouncy effect by just kind of playing with the, uh, the curves here, you know, just make something like that. And you can get kind of like this bouncy animation. So hit okay. And just like that, you kind of have like this really like nice bouncy you know, that, that could be fine, tweak a little bit more. Um, and so this is the core essence of type array, but you know, it's fully, you know, controlled and rigged in After Effects, which means that you can go in here and customize it. So if we go into the text animator here, which is type array, basically, it's pretty much like a speed, speed, um, basically uh, text animator. So wish After Effects would have something like this, just kind of built it to make it easier for, you know, people creating type. But basically, this is just a regular, you know, text animator. So you can go in here, you can add a scale in here and set it to zero. And it's going to scale from zero to 100. And so now you have this really nice kind of like scale from nothing bounce kind of look right here. And let's say I wanted to add some rotation. Well, that's pretty easy. Go ahead and add another property. You can add rotation. And I don't know, we can add like a negative 45 and all of a sudden we have a nice little rotation going on. And so basically the whole idea of type array from what Paul's saying on his site is basically the whole idea is that, is that you're trying to create a, a preset that is kind of like out of your way, but it's still robust and customizable. And this is exactly what it did. It's very robust, it's very easy to, to use and create and just get going with type array. And if you need more control, you can easily add them into the animator and, you know, have a lot of things going on and, you know, customizing and crafting your own. But basically this is an amazing way to kind of just easily create fast, quick animations, text animations within After Effects without the hassle of setting up all the type animator, animators and the expressions and the selectors and stuff like that. And right now things are appearing word by word but let's say I wanted to change that. We can go into the selector right here and right here you can see that this animator is based on words, but if we wanted to, we can change it to lines. So it's gonna reveal this top line and then this top line. Kind of hard to tell when we have the scale, so I'm gonna turn that off. 
delete that. And let's delete the rotation here. So you can see that we just have the first line coming in and the second line coming in, it's delay. Let's do uh, 24. So first line, second line, um, like that. Or you can change from lines to characters. So it's gonna do one character at a time, um, you know, and you can get some pretty cool stuff that way. So just like that. So, you know, really quickly, you can get set up and, you know, create custom custom animations really quickly just to kind of get going using things based on characters, words, lines, and, you know, the full gamut of the text animators and After Effects with the ease and flexibility of expressions already built in and nice controls to kind of get you going faster. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's what you want to do. You want to get up and going faster instead of messing around with all this kind of stuff just to kind of get the general idea of what you're trying to do. So basically this is type array for After Effects by Paul. This is a fantastic tool. Again, if you appreciate this text uh, preset, go ahead and you know get buy him a coffee or something like that. This is fantastic. Uh, before we go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the one platform that makes it very, very easy to create an amazing, beautiful website. They have tons of themes to choose from, fully customizable themes designed by professionals. It's all fully customizable to make it the way you want it to look like without any coding experience required. They have amazing 24 hour support. And best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it for Type Array. You know, I highly encourage you guys to download it, try it out and uh, give it a try and kind of customize it and tweak it to make it to your own and, you know, get going with text animation a little bit faster. Um, he also has a lot of cool other presets on his website, um, like rigged boxes and stuff like that to help you get going with boxes and, you know, shapes and stuff like that a lot easier. So go ahead and check uh, out his other tools on his website. Um, also, sometimes if you have trouble removing all this stuff, like let's say, you know, we apply type array and it's great. Um, let's say we want to remove type array completely from a text layer. It might be kind of a pain to do that. Um, so there's another script by Kyle Martinez, I believe, that kind of like strips away type array very quickly. Um, kind of undoes everything. Um, so I'll link that below in the description as well. So that's pretty much it for type array. Let me know what you guys think about type array down below. Um, what would you use it for? What are your thoughts on it? And what other tools you guys use for typography? Very interested. So let me know down in the comments down below. Again, I'm also releasing a lot of really cool new updates to my script as well as new scripts on Creative Dojo. For example, the Dojo Shifter script right here. I also have a new Dojo Renamer version two script as well as a new script called Bolt. So check it out over at creativedojo.net slash store. I have some pretty cool stuff up there as well. So check it out. And also an upcoming new LUT pack. So stay tuned for that. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. My name is Vincent Nguyen from the Creative Dojo and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.